Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. It's 648 on this Monday. Welcome back. Oh, yeah, it's 60 degrees, maybe 60 degrees, and maybe some snow, and, you know, we're in North Dakota. <laughs> yeah, it's April in North Dakota, which mm -hmm. means anything can happen, mm -hmm. right? We're in that sort of transition period between winter and summer, right. and most call it spring, and we just call it, well, April in North Dakota. Who knows? Dakota. <laughs> exactly. Right. Yeah, who knows what's going to happen. Now, uh, I'm going to give you a glimpse of what could happen. Here are the winter, uh, the weather alerts, I should say. All that blue, that is going to be a winter storm watch. You can see where it extends to all the way into Nebraska, most of South Dakota, right there at our border. So our South Dakota viewers, you're under that winter storm watch. This is for uh, basically Tuesday night into Wednesday and into Thursday. So those are a few days we'll be watching here. A little bit of rain down towards the south right now. Uh, that is the extent of our moisture today. Already seeing a little bit of a decrease in cloud cover as well. So we'll decrease the clouds this afternoon. We'll get some sunshine. Right now it's some 30s and 40s, even 50 in Bismarck and Dickinson. Holding strong on those numbers all morning. Uh, upper 30s in Rugby, low 40s in Minot, mid 40s in Watford City. And the wind speeds are light this morning. They are increasing today. As you can see there, we are a little breezy down towards Bowman and Beach. 19, 20 miles per hour. The rest of us around 5 to 15. We'll so, uh, increase these wind speeds and they become sustained 15 to 25, gusting to 30 and 35. So another gusty day. Uh, so just like yesterday, we're going to get some sun and some wind speeds here picking up. Uh, now here's what we're looking at this afternoon. We have a mostly clear sky for many of us. We'll get some great sunshine, but things are changing in the coming days. In fact, as we head into, you can see here early Tuesday morning, we've got some chances for rain moving into the southwest. And then that's going to pull in some cooler air as that low forms and deepens down towards Colorado. This pulls in cooler air, changes that to snow, and most of South Dakota will see substantial snow uh, that will really slow the state down. We will get a chance for snow in the south here, but we're for sure pulling in cooler air on the north side of the system. So I'm going to show you a couple of models here. Uh, we're going to go a, a, a little deeper into the uh, model world. I'm showing you the GFS model for all the weather geeks out there. I know there are a ton that watch because you email me and I always get your information. We've got uh, a chance for a light accumulation along the border there. Here's the Euro. These are two long range models, two global models that we like to watch. And this is also keeping it to the south. But we are erring on the side of caution because there is a chance that this could all shift to the north and change things for Bismarck and Dickinson, especially that I-94 corridor. So I'm really giving you a caution here if you live, say, south of 94, that things could change. Is the, if this shifts to the north a bit, that might slow you down, say, Tuesday night into Wednesday and Thursday. If you're traveling to southern Minnesota, if you're traveling to South Dakota, have that plan B maybe change your, your timing because it will hit those states and it will give substantial snow and wind. Now, we've also got a windy can, uh, forecast here. Over the next few days, here's Dickinson cooling down to the 30s. Nonetheless, if we even if you don't see snow, you're seeing cooler temperatures. Here's the uh, Williston forecast there back to the 40s uh, by the middle of the work week. Why not? You can see that sort of progression into the 40s by Wednesday. We'll have a little bit of a bump there in temperatures back towards the weekend and kind of a quieter second half of the work week. Here's the Bismarck seven day forecast. I am carrying a slight chance for precipitation Tuesday and Wednesday to account for the shift that could happen in that system. And then you can see they're back to the uh, upper 30s on Wednesday. Hmm. OK, yeah, down to the 30s. Yikes. Uh, but it certainly was nice to go short sleeves yesterday. Yeah, it was, was great. Do it yeah. again today. I saw I shorts at the grocery store. <laughs> you know, they're a little tougher than me. I couldn't handle that wind with shorts, but it was nice. It was beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, yeah thanks. When we return on Good Day Dakota, we'll have your top